The Washington Post, in combination with 11 news organizations in eight countries around the world, ran an expose today on the 5,000 pages that were leaked about Russia's military cyber war strategy. The documents were leaked by an anonymous source at contractor NTC Vulcan. The Post's long-form article will take you some time to read, but the part that stood out for me was a training program called Crystal 2. The Crystal 2 training program focuses on the disruption of real-world infrastructure, including systems for controlling air, sea, and rail operations. Think about that for a second. There are sanctioned training programs to teach people how to disrupt national infrastructures. We have to assume this includes national power grids, water supplies, and other infrastructure that supports millions, if not tens of millions, of people. While looking for more information on the Crystal 2 program, I did a quick search on Google just to see if I'd get any more information. There was nothing. I then tested perplexity.ai to see if it could find anything. Again, nothing came back. I had to refer back to the Washington Post report to get data from the source document itself. The source documents are in Russian, but three of the Crystal 2 training modules were translated into English. This confirmed that the focus during the creation of the 2018 training program was to create tests for disabling control systems for rail, sea, and air transport. Quoting from the Washington Post article, the documents indicate that Amazet is intended to enable discovery and mapping of critical facilities such as railways and power plants, but only when the attacker has physical access to the facility. End quote. To be clear, all major nation states are sponsoring this type of training program. It's just not released to news organizations in 5,000-page chunks. The links to the Washington Post article and other resources I found on the topic go to 505updates.com, March 30th, episode number 109. The links are at the bottom of the transcript. Search for and subscribe to It's 505 wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.